Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world. Stop loving this evil world and all that it offers you. For all these worldly things, these evil desires, these are not from God. And this world is fading away, and these evil, forbidden things will go with it. Step right up! Don't be left out of the sun! See and hear all the just sights and sounds! <laughs> Another satisfied customer. different person. Fix your thoughts on what is true and good and right. Dwell on the fine good things, for whoever keeps doing the will of God will live forever. projection of my pod. <laughs> Cheater! What? Nicholas, come on in. It'll be getting dark soon. But Mom! Come in now. Getting dark soon? Sometimes it seems like Mom lived in a different time zone. Him come in when it gets dark. Oh, very funny. <laughs> ha, ha. <laughs> hey, check it out. Night of the Blood Freaks Part 4 starts tomorrow in 3D. Oh, no kidding. Remember last year in Twilight of the Blood Freaks when you got those guys at the campfire? Nah, I didn't see it. My folks wouldn't let me. Man, they don't let you do anything. Hey, that was a year ago. I'm a lot older now, all right? Have you seen the commercials? Oh, yeah. First, First there, there was, was Dawn of the, of the Blood Freaks. Freaks. Then, Day of the Blood Freaks. Then, Twilight. But now, as the shadows begin to fall, it's... Lewis and I weren't the only ones excited about the movie. It's in 3D, and the soundtrack to the movie is by Death Threat. Oh, I've seen all the freak movies. Seen them? You starred in them. <laughs> So what do you think? The 1215 Matinee tomorrow. It'll be great. Think your mom and dad will let you out of the house? Hey, I can handle my folks. No sweat. Absolutely not. But, Mom, why would you want to go see a gross movie like that anyway? Because he's gross. It's not that bad. Besides, everybody's going to see it. Come on, please. Please what? Nicholas wants to go see a movie with Lewis. Oh, sure, why not? What's rated? Hello. 
A real classic, Night of the Blood Freaks, part four, in 3D. No way. Absolutely not. But, Dad... Honey, we don't want you filling your mind with that kind of garbage. You know that. But, Mom... I told you... Shut up! Nicholas. Well, why am I always the one that can't do anything? Nicholas. Can't do this, can't do that. One more word out of you, young man. It's not fair. Everybody else gets to go see it, but I have to sit around with a bunch Nicholas. of bulls. Nicholas! That's it. Now, you don't talk that way in this home. Go to your room. You're grounded. Hello, Nick. Go smell your socks. Wound a bit tightly tonight, aren't we? Oh, I know. Look, kid, you watch movies like that long enough, and pretty soon they'll stick a sign on your head that says dump site. What are you, some kind of film critic or something? Well, as a matter of fact... Let's take a look at our next clip, The Molting Falcon. Now this is a real classic. My name is Shay. Bam Shay, private eye. She walked in and lit up the room. Her name was Thelma. She was the kind of babe your mom warned you about. <laughs> but mom was in Cleveland getting a nose job. She was looking for a bird. A molting falcon. What's the deal with this music, anyway? The whole thing smelled rotten to me. Well, that wraps up another case for Spam Shade, Private Eye. You know, they just don't make films like that anymore. Great story, great dialogue, and a particularly great performance by the lead. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give this a thumbs up. No way. If that film was any flatter, it would be in the House of Pancakes. Now, if you want to see a great flick, take a look at the new remake. You call that fun? <coughs> Why not just stick your head in a garbage can or something? Because then I'd have to room with you. Hello? Hey, Nick. Ready for the show? I can't go. What? I'm grounded. Grounded? How are you going to go to the show if you're grounded? I'm not. <sighs> hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Blue Fox. Huh? Remember last week's episode? Remember the plan Cyborg 2 used a free blue fox in the dreaded black tower? Yeah. We could use that.
Cyborg 2, this is Blue Fox Lear. Do you copy? Roger, Blue Fox. I'm reading you loud and clear. Synchronize watches to 1128, and let's commence execution. Execution? The plan, stupid! The plan! Oh, right. You'll be sorry! Aren't you coming? Uh-uh, no way! I got principles. I got convictions. I got rhythm. I'll give you a dollar. I gotta get my shoes. Well, she's just started coming to the counseling center. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, well, that's what I thought, too. Suddenly, mm -hmm. this plan didn't seem so easy. No. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so, too. Roger, Blue Fox. on the kitchen floor wasn't exactly the great escape by picture. Of course. Of course. That's what she wanted all along. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll talk to you a little later then. Okay, honey. Bye-bye. Sarah! Who is at the door? Probably some screwy kids. But Mom, Nick's upstairs. Very funny. Grandma? Yes, dear. Can you help me with my curtains in my room? Oh, sure, sweetheart. <laughs> How do they look? Is the length okay? Well, yeah, kind of, but it's uneven at the bottom. Well, we'll fix it. Yeah. A few more feet, and I was home free. Or free of home. What on earth? Whatever. Whatever. Are you alright? What's wrong, fella? Come here, boy. Another 75 cents. Let's go. Meet me over by that Buick. Let's just go to the theater. That's not what Blue Fox would do. Yeah, and Blue Fox's mom wouldn't chase him around the kitchen either. Let's just stick to the plan. I remember there being a Buick in the plan. Old enough. No problem. Come on. Two, please. Wait up, Dad. Here's Dad. 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 Mom. Um, I'm drawing right now. Could you come back later? Okay.
Nicholas? Who is it? It's Mom. Are you all right? You sound tired. Um, I'm drawing right now. Nicholas, it's Mom. What's going on in there? Mom. Nicholas, it's Mom. What are you doing? What's, What's it look like? I'm talking to myself. What's it look like? I'm talking to my soul. Nicholas! Nicholas? Talking to my soul. Nicholas! Nicholas? Let's face it, Mom. He freaked. Yeah. in here. Did you go to the movies? Yes, sir. Did you enjoy yourself? No, it was awful. Do you realize what you've done? Sit down, Nick. When your mother and I told you you couldn't go, it was for a purpose. We were trying to protect you. Your mind is the most important thing you have. That's why the Lord is very clear when he says we have to be careful what we put in it. Now, whether you enjoy the movie or not is beside the point. Just by going to see it, you've put something into your mind to... to dirty it, to pollute it. It's bound to affect your life. It's garbage in, garbage out, Nicholas. You've got scenes in your mind that you can never erase. You've got pictures that may be with you for the rest of your life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, son. I want you to go to your room and give this some thought. I'll be up in a little while to talk about your punishment.
I'd say we did more than talk about my punishment. And with all the extra chores I got that week, I had plenty of time to think about the things Dad said. I need a break. So, are we finished? No, we are not finished. I still have to haul these boxes from the garage to the attic. Boy, the folks are riding you kind of hard, aren't they? It could be worse. I could have to sit through that stupid movie again. <laughs> I tell you, McGee, I'm through with watching garbage like that. Uh-huh. But you gotta help me. That kind of stuff's all around. Yeah, it's tough making the right choices. But it's like I've always told you. The road to ruin is paved with crude inventions. Ah, oh, inventions. Like the time he told me to use Mom's vacuum cleaner to rake the leaves. Yeah, it would have worked if you hadn't hit the sprinkler. Or how about the time he told me to cut the sleeves on my shirt so that Mom wouldn't see the tear? <laughs> or how you know, about the time his he mind really is full of raw egg? garbage. Stay right there in your heart Stay, gonna stay right there in your heart. 